It all starts when Elizabeth Jordan, who works in real estate, visits one of her clients named Clara, an older woman who has gone through great challenges in her life, and who has now decided to sell her house. As they tour the spaces of the house, Elizabeth is struck by Clara's favorite part, a closet that she calls her war room, where she prayed and continues to pray for her husband. Un armario? In that place there are notes of her prayers and reflections from the Bible. Even though Clara is just getting to know Elizabeth, she seems as if she knows that she is succumbing to an impending marital separation, without knowing how to fix it. Since Clara in the conversation realizes that Elizabeth lives a turbulent marriage and that she needs help, even if she denies it. That is why Clara encourages her to come back the next day with the price proposal for the house and to give her an hour to talk, Elizabeth accepts and returns to her house. When Elizabeth arrives, she meets her daughter Danielle, who is waiting for her to show her her excellent grades, but she is a little nervous about what her father will say. Since the marriage between Elizabeth and Tony is in a terrible crisis because they both have a successful job, this means that each one has to live focused on their activity, and due to the selfish competition to achieve more, they have let their marriage becomes a war zone, and you could say that his daughter is collateral damage. For his part, Tony develops as a great pharmaceutical salesman, but he is very weak, since one of his client's secretaries begins to flirt with him, he quickly allows himself to be seduced and accepts the initiative. Later, when Tony returns home, he gets upset with his wife for money that she is offering to his sister over the phone without her consent. And as usual, a heated discussion begins while they ignore their daughter, who was willing to teach her father her academic performance. Moments later Tony storms out of the house without even eating dinner. The next day, with calmer spirits, they go to church as they rarely do. There Tony sees his secretary again and looks at her with desire. This attitude is perceived by Elizabeth, who, with much regret and pain, remains silent. Upon returning home, Tony, in the presence of his daughter, tells Elizabeth that he must take a business trip. This announcement is not taken with pleasure by her, since she did not know anything about it. He of course counters by telling her that in order to continue having the house and the other luxuries, she must accept it and be flexible. As the days go by, Elizabeth and Tony grow further and further apart. So Tony decides to call Veronica, the secretary he met at his work. Meanwhile, Elizabeth decides to meet again with Mrs. Clara, who begins to ask her about her private life. So Elizabeth answers her honestly, but then she is curious to know Clara's intention. By asking her all those things, Clara quickly answers that it is because she lived what she is living now, and she has an effective solution for those marital crises. After Elizabeth told Clara all her frustration and how bad her husband is behaving, Clara takes her to her closet, that is to say to her prayer room. There she confesses that she has designed a prayer strategy with Bible verses, and tells him that the first thing she should do is stop complaining and above all, stop fighting the wrong enemy. So with the guidance of Mrs. Clara, Elizabeth discovers that all is not lost, and that she can begin to fight for her family through prayer, instead of fighting against it. Later at night Elizabeth begins to have a change, and tormented by the remorse of living in a continuous struggle with her partner, she tells Danielle that both she and her father love her. But the little girl doubts her, and between tears begins to ask her questions about her and her activities at her school. It is there that Elizabeth, not knowing how to answer any of the questions, realizes the time she has wasted with her daughter. So she begs his forgiveness, telling him that she is very sorry, and mother and daughter melt into a big hug. The next day Elizabeth returns to Mrs. Clara's house and tells her about that sad episode that she lived with her daughter, but instead of acknowledging her fault, she begins to complain about her husband. Given this, Clara makes him reflect on the time she spent speaking ill of her husband and the time she does something to change. For which Clara explains that instead of trying to change her husband, she has to love him, respect him and pray for him. But she has no idea how to start so Clara gives her a Bible recommending that she start there. After all this, Elizabeth comes home with the initiative to change. To do this, she begins by removing all the things from her closet to build her war room. 
At first she has a hard time concentrating on prayer, but she doesn't give up. A few days have passed and Tony returns home from her work trip, Elizabeth receives him asking him how it went and then tells him that her sister needs help to pay the apartment fee and her rent. This again causes an argument between them, because Tony continues with the refusal, which deeply hurts Elizabeth. Several days go by and seeing that the tension in her marriage continues to increase, Elizabeth continues to frequent Clara's house so that she continues to help her. This time Clara tells her to start writing all the bad things about her husband Tony. Elizabeth does so and fills three pages, though she mentions that it could be more. However, Clara tells him something surprising, she indicates that, despite those mistakes, God loves Tony. For all this Elizabeth leaves Clara's house ready to save their relationship, since there is still love between them. But when she gets home she finds out from a friend that her husband is seen in a restaurant with a woman that breaks Elizabeth's heart in two and she asks God in prayer to help her because she needs it. She also confesses that she is mad at Tony, but that she doesn't want to lose him. She also points out that she does not want to be the judge of her husband and asks God to take control of their marriage, to turn the anger out of her heart and to allow her to love him again. Immediately Elizabeth finds the consolation in her heart that she asks for so much, and with great force and impetus she declares that her house belongs to God and she rebukes Satan. Now, her house has a new manager, who is where her joy comes from. So while Tony is at the restaurant with the other woman, accepting the invitation to his apartment to be alone, his wife is at home praying for him, when Tony suddenly felt like throwing up. The next day, Danielle at her house discovers Elizabeth's war room and she tries to explain to her daughter that she is tired of fighting alone and for this reason now, she prays for God to give her strength. After this, Elizabeth begins to become more involved in the life of her daughter. And now together with her they begin to pray, for which Elizabeth gives her a Bible. That day Tony returns from his trip and notices the message that his wife received from her friend, who told her that he was with another woman. Tony is prepared for the offensive, but seeing Elizabeth's passive attitude at dinner, he is too surprised and it occurs to him that perhaps the wife wants to poison him. But when he realizes that what he thought is crazy, Tony asks him the reason for that strange attitude instead of claiming him. Even so, Elizabeth remains very passive and tells her at that precise moment that what she wants is a good ice cream and a foot massage from her. The next day, Tony is fired by his boss for sabotaging and lying in his sails, so he comes home upset without greeting his wife or his daughter, so Elizabeth quickly notices that something is wrong, and when asked, Tony becomes furious and answers that he lost his job and that now they will lose their house and the economic position they have. But Elizabeth maintains her calm, and points out that everything is fine, this causes more anger in Tony who does not accept his wife's passivity and tolerance, waiting for one more fight. That night, Tony has a nightmare where his wife is attacked, and when he defends her, he realizes that his attacker is himself. This shocks him so much that he wakes up and falls out of bed. That day Tony casually looking for a bag in the closet, he discovers the war room. There he can clearly see the Bible quotes pasted on the wall, and he can read the prayers made for him. This discovery leaves Tony completely surprised and shaken. This prompts him to immediately go to his daughter Danielle, and without warning his eyes begin to well up with tears of regret as he tells her to forgive him. Then, when Tony is alone, without thinking, he kneels down and exclaims to Jesus that he is a sinner, a selfish and proud man who hurt his family. He also tells her that he doesn't want to be like that, but he doesn't know how to fix it and implores God with his heart in his hand to forgive him. From now on and without a job, Tony shares more with his daughter, this time he takes his to the gym for her jump training routine. This is the first time he sees the potential in his little girl. So he comes back and tells Danielle that she impressed him with her routine, and that she's really good at it. The least expected day, they take away Tony's car from the company where he was fired, that makes him feel down, but his wife tries to encourage him and tells him that now he has more houses to sell and thus generate more money. 
Tony, very confused, told Elizabeth that her attitude towards him when she found out about his dismissal cannot be explained, and he thought that that day she would be outraged and would begin to argue with him, but her attitude confused him even more, so he reveals to her that he went into her closet and saw how she was praying for him. And then he asked her why despite knowing the man she became, she did that. Elizabeth with tears in her eyes and moved responds that it was because she did not want to give them up and that she continues to fight for her marriage. And she goes on to explain that she loves him, but she felt a grudge against him, and that it was out of love for Jesus that she stayed with him and his family. Hearing those words, Tony kneels down and tearfully tells her that he is sorry, that he asked God to forgive him, but now he needs his wife to forgive him too and asks her not to leave him. For which Elizabeth very moved, she forgives him because there is already grace in her heart. After that reunion, Elizabeth tells Mrs. Clara everything, and she very happily reminds her that she knew that God would not abandon them. Several days pass, now Tony and Elizabeth face another difficulty, as Tony has a moral struggle because he was keeping the medicines to resell. For this reason, Elizabeth without hesitation tells him that he should deliver them, but he is afraid because he could end up in jail, and he justifies himself by saying that it doesn't matter anymore because he lost his job. But Tony and his family are different, so he decides to go to his former boss and gives him the medicine box. There he confesses everything and apologizes. His boss is shocked that there's no point in him doing this after he's been fired, but Tony needs the peace he so desires, so he accepts the consequences for his actions. His boss remains thoughtful and surprised by the action of his former employee, informs him that in two days he will hear from him. After this, Tony continues to change his heart with his wife, now he is on the jump rope team with his daughter, while Elizabeth continues working. They both pray and are closer than ever. To Tony's surprise, his ex-boss arrives at his house that night and, very disappointed in him, tells him that what he did was wrong, but that for his act of courage, he must repent and demands that he return the medicines and the $19,000 that he earned from the illicit sale of medicines to the company, and thus everything will be forgotten. Tony and Elizabeth were surprised because they expected the worst and Elizabeth crying indicates that it was the grace of God towards them. For her part, Elizabeth continues to visit Mrs. Clara, who asks her to help young couples who are going through the same thing she went through. That she must help as she was helped and Elizabeth agrees. Now, Tony and Elizabeth always go to church, they are united and their reunion as a couple brought happiness back to their home. They share with their daughter in each activity. And most importantly, they have God in their home, and that is how they become warriors who adopt prayer as a lifestyle. This is the summary of a Christian movie called War Room, click here and don't miss the following story.